Hey guys, um, I am filming a video today that I've been wanting to film for quite some time and it is my lipstick slash lip gloss collection. Literally took them all out and I was like, oh my god I didn't realise I had that much. Um, but I'll just get straight into it otherwise this video is going to take a million years. Um, I'll start off with skin, skin? I'll start off with lip care first, the Carmet. I do find that sometimes this leaves my lips really dry when it's not really supposed to do that. Anyway, so the next one that I've got, just drop one of the products. Uh, so the next one that I use if my lips are really dry, especially now in the winter, um, is the Blistex Relief Cream. Um, medicated relief for occasional cold sores, cracked, chapped and sore lips. I have a tendency to bite the inside of my mouth and like the inside of my lips. I don't know if anyone else does this. If you do, leave a comment down below. What the hell? I can't stop doing it. It's like biting your nails. It's just one of those compulsive things that you don't even realise you're doing it. Um, and this is basically the relief cream. Um, and I find that it helps. One thing that I use, one lip balm that I use um, a lot under my lipsticks, especially if they're matte because they dry out your lips quite a bit, um, is the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm with Vitamin E and Peppermint. Um, and I just find that it leaves my lips like really moisturised for a long time um, and that's what you want, especially again with the matte lipsticks. Sorry if you can hear my phone vibrating. Um, the next two I can show you together because they're pretty much the same thing, just different shades. Um, is the Maybelline New York Baby Lips. I've got the Pink Punch first, and that's like that. And it leaves like a little bit of a tinge. The baby pinkness doesn't really suit me, so it makes my lips look really pale. So that's not good for me. So then I went back and got the Cherry Me one, which is this kind of colour, but it it doesn't really come out like that. It's almost like a gloss look, but not as pigmented, if that makes sense. So it just gives like a little, yeah. Okay, so we will uh, move on. I was unsure whether to do it in color order or brand order, but I've decided on brand order and it's not in any particular, like my favorite first and then my least favorite last, it's in whatever order. So. Um, and some of these I don't really use that often so you'll have to forgive me but um, this one is, the first one is the Estee Lauder uh, Pure Colour 82 Pink Berry Cream and also I like smelling lipsticks so if I pick each one up and smell them I'm so sorry um, and yeah basically it looks like that very subtle just like a skin tone type colour very nice. Next one is a Miss Sporty, gotta love Miss Sporty, 059 Eye Poke, which I'm a bit confused about. But this one I'm a bit, I don't know why I've got it, because orange lipsticks don't tend to suit me, obviously because of my colouring. But I decided, what the hey, let's get an orange lipstick and then never wear it. Um, but yeah, so that's that one there. Um, although maybe with a tan and that's that one underneath and then my next one is the Revlon 095 in crimson which is this one god that's mashed inside um, and that's that shade and I'll swatch it have a lot of creamy shades. That's that one. Consistencies, not shades. Uh, all my words are like. Bleh. Anyway, next one, Revlon again. In that shade, and it looks like this. A lot darker than the other Revlon shade. Just painted my hand there. And that's that one underneath so you can see it's more of a berry red than like your classic pillar box red like the one before 